Okay, and of course, now we're all talking about DNA. How does the All of Us Research Program ensure DNA and data security for its participants? Yeah, data security and privacy issues are really one of the central kind of um, mm -hmm. tenets of the program because we know that without being able to ensure the um, privacy and security of information, um, it would be impossible to achieve the goals of the program. So it's it's accomplished in, in several ways. Um, all of the information, whether it's genetic information or medical information, um, is first of all de-identified. So um, the researchers have no idea of the actual identity of individuals um, whose information they may be working with. Um, all of those pieces of data are removed um, when the, the data are um, kind of put into a place where they can be analyzed. Um, there is you know, state-of-the-art encryption and security built in and it's tested on a regular basis. There's a principle of transparency if, if problems should occur um, to um, acknowledge those, um, but most importantly, um, tremendous effort to prevent those from occurring in the first place. Um, and beyond that, there is also, for example, a certificate of confidentiality um, that applies to the program. And what that means is that the information collected by the All of Us Research Program is not accessible um, to any um, individual you know, outside the program, um, including law enforcement. You know, many people hear these stories about how the police go into public databases of genetic information and, and trace um, crimes that might have occurred a long time ago and figure out, you know, somebody whose DNA is, is in the program or maybe even a relative um, kind of implicates them. Well, that kind of thing can't happen in the All of Us Research Program. Um, those things happen when people put their data out in public databases where anybody can see it. Mm -hmm. um, but here, that's it's first of all, not accessible. But secondly, it's not even possible for the authorities to access it because their certificate of confidentiality means that it's not possible, let's say for a court, to subpoena the data. Um, they have no access to it and they never will. Um, so none of those um, kind of uses um, in terms of the legal system um, have any possibility of accessing the All of Us Research Program data. Do you know what's happening in Birmingham? Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today on Android, iPhone, and iPad for free. Get info on everything you need to know about local news, events, businesses, restaurants, and more. Visit our website, whatshappeningbham.com, or follow us on social media at Happening Beham for more information. Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today, your source for everything Birmingham.